All right, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about the Solaris by Orion Knives. Now, this is a Kickstarter knife that my friend Goondock sent over for me to play with and actually has some things that I think are kind of unique that I've never seen before personally. Now, I'm sure they exist, but maybe the first time I've ever seen it with a button lock. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So this is the Solaris by Orion Knives. And as you can see, it is a button lock folding knife. Now the overall length of this knife, and this is important, I think, to start with, is going to be, it's about four and three quarters inches. No joke. It's not a small frame. Now that isn't going to change all that much how it's going to carry in the pocket, but when I run through the rest of the stats, it's going to seem a little weird to have a, you know, a handle that big. Now the blade length on this knife comes in at just over three inches with a cutting edge of also just over three inches. Pretty cool that they matched the two. But for a handle this big, it seems kind of weird, right, to have a knife blade that small except you may notice this part right here. And that's kind of what I want to focus on with this knife because that's what I think is happening that's so different. When you have this closed, look at the position of the knife blade um, blade stop in relationship to the pivot and the location of the flipper tab. I mean, the distance here is huge, right? There's a huge distance. There's actually quite a bit of blade in here for a three inch cutting edge. And there's some advantages. Uh, the, first of all, the flipper tab being in front of the pivot is going to make it much, much easier to deploy the knife. In fact, it's very, very hard to fail this knife, especially when you uh, include the fact that the detent on this is actually very well dialed in. And it's not, you know, it's not something that we see a lot of times with other button locks. The other thing that all this distance offers is this this monstrous finger choil, absolutely monstrous finger choil. If you have some seriously large hands, this is probably your knife, your button lock of choice. If you've ever felt cramped on a knife and you want something that's, you know, under three and a half inches, clearly gonna, gonna design for working hard with the knife blade, this may be your option because it has nice, thick handles, and you can really get behind the edge. If you're pushing hard with it, it's gonna feel quite stable, especially when you see how much of that handle kind of creeps up into your hand. That part comes right into your palm, and you can really bear down on it. So that part is, I think, the, the, that's the real uniqueness of this knife. And <laughs> with my hands at least, look at how much real estate is left on this handle. If you got big hands, this is definitely your knife. But it's also for people, I think, that maybe use gloves on a regular basis and they need something they can easily get their hand on. And because it's a button lock, it's very, very easy to manipulate and you can do it in so many different ways. One way or another, you will be able to get this knife open. No problem. So really well done. On top of that, it also comes with an aluminum collar around the pivot, which can easily be exchanged and they sell different colors of. And it has a titanium pocket clip that is actually ambidextrous. And now this is a really nice titanium pocket clip that has a little ball um, at the end. And I really, I found these to be very comfortable and they never actually, you know, do any damage to my pockets, which is great. All right. So that's, that's all great, right? So what's the bad? The bad news because there's got to be some bad news right well hey distraction okay before the bad news let's talk about some more good uh the pocket pen that it comes with is awesome the fact that it has like a custom orion pocket pen i love i love these pens they're great oh wait did you want to hear the bad here's the bad news the bad news is that this is going to come in at 85 dollars, and for me i think that's a little bit outside the range for what I want to spend for a using user knife just and maybe not maybe that's not true for everyone and but I think a lot of people are going to say well that's kind of out of my budget 
And I feel like that's kind of unfortunate because it feels, looks and feels like a great user knife. It's got a great user steel. 14C is incredibly tough. It's got great corrosion resistance. It's easy to sharpen. And it's got decent edge retention. But all these premium features like the pivot collar and the titanium pocket clip, they boost up the price just a little bit more than it needs to be. Around the $70 price point, with obviously dialed down a lot of these features, I think this knife would be far more appealing to a wider audience. So as nice as it is, it's going to be difficult to kind of get it in front of the people I think that would appreciate it the most. So with that, I don't have much more to say about the Orion Solaris. I'm very impressed with it. I really like this this feature of the very large finger choil and the extra large handle. Sometimes you don't necessarily need, you know, a one-to-one -one handle blade ratio. I mean, I guess it looks good, but from a comfort perspective, this is just fantastic. And on top of that, this being the Kickstarter model, they have increased the chamfering. And I don't know 100%, but I think they have contoured the G10 handles a little bit more. Now, these nested liners in there, which are not, it doesn't look like it's the full liner. It's just a small section. I mean, they, you can't even really tell they're there, but they are there. Nicely done. Really nicely done by them. I just think that the market that this knife would really appeal to is in the $50 to $60 range at the best, you know, at the highest. And I think this is just a little bit too high for, for that group. That being said, it's a nice knife and very enjoyable in one of my favorite steels ever. And they have a perfectly dialed in, um, why am I having trouble with words today? Button lock. And I've actually held a Malibu uh, button lock and I've been able to manipulate it. And this is, I would say within five to 10% of what I felt with that knife. They are getting super good at making button locks. And the Orion Knife Solaris is a very, very good button lock. From an action perspective, from a detent perspective, they really have this dialed in. Anyway, that's it for today. I don't really have much more to say. Thank you for letting me borrow this. I really appreciate it, Goondocks, and I will be having this back to you real soon. You guys have a good one, and we'll talk again soon.